Welcome to Tatastu. Today's movie that I'm going to talk to you about is also one of the most talked about movies in the first half of 2024, which is the brilliant Faz Fazil being reintroduced by Jitu Madhavan in the movie Avesham. Oh man, I, what do I say that most other people have not said? I'm going to tell you stuff that I think is excellent in this movie and things that I thought were so deep that as a concept, I don't know how Jatu Madhavan thought about it. Uh, as a follow-up to Romancha, which was also a fairly esoterical study of masculinity, I think Fahad Fazil is redefining masculinity single-handedly in mainstream cinema. I wouldn't say there aren't others, but Fahad is probably one of those people who are showing folks that machoism, six-pack abs, things which make it visibly like action hero-ish are things that are absolutely not required to be a macho superstar. Fahad is a bona fide superstar with just his acting chops and with just the amount of energy he brings to this movie. This is a fairly simple story about a few college kids who get ragged in college who want to take revenge on their seniors and therefore look to find a local goon in Bangalore, which is where their college is. And this local goon turns out to be Fahad Fazil. And this local goon takes a liking to these boys and treats them like brothers and takes care of them. And the entire storyline moves along that. You might think this is such a simple line and a simple story, right? But no, every single time you see that the youth of these of these college students is always countered by the counter narrative that Fahad provides as Ranga in this conversation. So a good example would be Fahad, sorry, the kids, the college kids, what they do is they want to seek revenge for the fact that they were beaten up and they could have done so many other things, but they decided to have a local go local goon, they find Fahad and their entire motivation has been to utilize Fahad. But on the other hand, Fahad is pure. Ranga the goon is pure hearted. He wants to love this these boys. He wants to be friends with them. He wants to enjoy life with them. He wants them to enjoy being with him. And this expectation mismatch is what masculinity is all about as well, right? Because men, traditional men, always expect to be the ones on top or expect to be the ones with the agenda to do things. But Fahad reverses it and Jitu Madhavan reverses it. Here, the goon, the most powerful man that is in this movie, has no expectations but love, which is so cute and so pure. The second thing that you need to understand, and a really good instance of this, is this movie ends with Fahad going on a rampage, killing a large number of people. And he doesn't feel good about it. He doesn't feel any sort of positive emotion for it. On the contrary, he comes back and he's remorseful because all his life, all his adult life at least, he's never been loved. Everyone who's loved him has neglected him for the choices he has made, has left him and gone away because of the choices he's made. Fahad, every time that he's turned back in this movie, he is looking to be in a position where he does not want to show his emotions. He's probably crying. When his back is to the camera, he's probably crying. When his back is to the camera, he's probably emotional. And the one time, the camera is in front of him, which is in the end of the movie. He cries for help. He cries to make sure people know that he is doing all of this so that people can love him. And he doesn't get that love. Or so you think. Because he has Amban. The most amazing sidekick that you can ever see in like movies. I think Circuit and Munabai were one of them. But I think Amban and Ranga are on a different level altogether because Amban compliments, loves, 
enjoys and almost worships Ranga to such a large extent that he feels everything Ranga is feeling. He wants to do things before Ranga does anything and he wants to protect Ranga more than anyone else. I don't think Fahad and Ranga, the character, realize how much Amban loves him. And this fact that Ranga doesn't know is the unrequited love that everyone has. And I think all of us should be watching Avesham, not from the lens of it being a funny movie or it's an action movie, none of that. This is a love story between a boy who grew up to be a gangster who never ever found love and is searching for love in the wrong places because he already has people who love him, who adore him and who want to be with him. And that is the end goal of every human being. Avesham is a study of masculinity, study of unrequited love and study of how we need to be finding love in the places where we get love and never search for them in places where we don't get them. Thank you very, very much. Have an awesome day and we'll catch up soon.